Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all well and I hope everyone's doing okay during these working from home times. I found that I've gotten into a nice routine when it comes to my working space. Now I've worked from home in the past, the past sort of three years. I've got an office at home that is a dedicated space for working. I thought I'd give you some practical tips that I find really, really useful and that cost next to nothing or nothing just to change up your space, to make sure that you're in an ergonomic position, to make sure that you are helping not only your back and your neck, also just your kind of your structural stability. Use a gym ball instead of using your standard chair. At work, we are risk assessed and you're given a proper chair that ensures that you can sit up straight and you are in the correct position for long periods of time. However, you're probably not gonna have that chair at home. So it is important to make sure that you are changing up the way that you sit and making sure you sit up straight at all times. And one thing that I found is having a gym ball, those massive gym balls or like a pregnancy ball, having one of those is really helpful to keep you dynamic whilst working. So what it does is when you're in that, when you're sitting on that ball, you're sort of unstable. You can't sit back and rest on the back of a chair. So you're working on your core the whole time. Um, so this is beneficial for so many reasons. Firstly, it forces you to sit up straight. Um, and secondly, it kind of just changes the pace a little bit. I love just bouncing on it as I'm working. Um, and my husband and I kind of just fight between it. Like I'm like, okay, you can have in the morning and I'll have in the afternoon. Um, and we've always had one, we've had one for like three years now. I find it really, really helpful just generally sitting down on the ball to watch TV instead of just slouching on the sofa as well. Um, so definitely invest in a gym ball. I'll leave a link down below for the one that I have. Um, and it's really, really cheap and just an easy change to, to change up the way that you sit. You also want to make sure that your screen is at eye level. Um, again, we probably are using desks that have not been um, health and safety proofed uh, as they would be, or risk assessment proofed as they would be at work. So you're probably looking downwards and so you're slouching your shoulders. And in the long run, this is going to cause strain on your shoulders and on your back. And also on your eyes. An easy way of doing this, if you don't want to go and buy one of those like table stands, is just to get a few books or a few boxes and pile them up on your desk. It definitely made a huge difference to my the way that I sat and also the way that I was sort of looking and the strain on my neck throughout the day. An easy thing, and this is something that you should always be doing, is keeping fluids next to your desk or next to wherever it is that you're working. I found that during this work from home time, I was drinking a lot less water than I usually did. Now, normally I have my water bottle with me at all times. It's also here. I always have a water bottle with me at all times and I carry this with me out wherever I go. But seeing as we're not going anywhere, I tend to just leave it in one room and I forget about it and I forget to drink water. Um, and this, again, it means that you're going to be dehydrated, you're going to lose concentration and lose focus, you'll probably get a headache because you're looking at the screen all day and it just isn't, you still need to be hydrated and the weather is also heating up so it is important to make sure that you're always staying hydrated so make sure you have some sort of liquid, try not, try to avoid caffeine but some sort of like water or um, hydrating liquid that you can drink as you're working and as you're going through the day. Snacking. Now, this is definitely something that we do at work and I'm sure we do it at home, but because your fridge and your you know, your snack cupboard is so close, um, you probably are more likely to snack a little bit more during this quarantine period than you would normally. To avoid it, just don't bring that kind of food into your home. If you don't have the snacks, you won't have the snacks. <laughs> You can't eat them if you don't have them. So instead, replace with fruits. Try to make a routine where you have at least two or three fruits in a day minimum. So we have an apple every single day. We have a banana. We have a tangerine. I recently got some blood oranges, which are delicious. I think it's in season now. Um, dates. And then snacking on nuts and sort of dried fruits throughout the day. And this is just an excellent way of, again, keeping yourself hydrated, keeping yourself you know, eating a balanced diet, making sure your immune system is strong, especially during the times that we are in. One thing that I tried the other day is to DIY a standing desk. <laughs> um, I'm quite sure I'm five foot two. It's not too hard for me to stand on a regular kind of height desk with a few more boxes than normal. So what I did was instead of having the one box that I had before, I put three boxes, I think it was two boxes. And so I was standing and I was actually just getting on with the work and I found myself being super productive. The last thing you wanna do is stand up and go on your phone. Um, so you're when you're standing, you're just focusing solely on the task at hand. Again, make sure that your screen is at eye level, so you shouldn't be standing and sort of slouching down. But make sure your screen is at eye level, you're standing up straight, your shoulders are back, and you can just get on with 
a task whilst standing. And I know that you can buy standing desks, but again, you might not want to spend much money and you don't have to. Just use a few books or a few boxes to elevate your screen um, to be able to stand. And if you are short like me, then it wouldn't be too hard um, to find two or three boxes to be able to stand up. Um, again, I find it really, really great for posture, changes it up, stops you from sitting around all day. And um, yeah, I felt like I was really productive during that time. Another tip is to try to change up your working space. Now I have, like I said, I have an office. I, had, I have a dedicated space that I've created two years ago to be able to work. So I'm in a perfect position, but I still don't do all my work there. I always change it up. So I might spend the morning in the office and then the afternoon on the dining room desk here or some time back there on the sofa, um, just to change things up a little bit. Avoid the bedroom, that's the only place I would say, try not to go to the bedroom and sit on the bed because that, that's just a trap. But try to change it up from your dining table if you have one, um, if you have a balcony or a garden, if you have a living room or dining room, um, the sofa, try to change it up and always make sure you're in an upright, not slouched position. Of course, I don't need to say this, and this is something that you probably do at work anyway, is to take regular breaks and to look away from the screen, probably by yourself, and you're just getting on with work all day and looking at a screen, a phone screen, and then a laptop screen, and then TV screen. We're just surrounded by screens. So just try to make sure you're taking regular breaks. If you have to time yourself, then do it. But every hour, maybe give yourself five minutes where you are away from the screen, you look out the window, or you read a book, or just something that's away from screens. This is really important for your eyes um, and just for your vision in general. And lastly is to respect the space that you are in. You might be in your living room, which is probably the least work friendly space that you have, but now that's your office. Now that living room is your work office. And so respect that space by putting away any distractions that you think are going to affect your efficiency. If the remote control is within reach, put it away. If your phone is within reach, put it away. The same way you would respect your space at work and you wouldn't be texting all day and you wouldn't maybe you know, online shopping all day, respect your space. And again, it, make, it makes for a healthy working at home environment where you can kind of draw a line between this is my home time where I've got the remote control next to me and I've got my phone next to me and this is work time where I don't have those things as accessible. Um, and this is a hard one because like I said, you are in the same area that you would be when, you, when you're at home just relaxing but try to respect your space as much as you can by putting away the things that you know are going to distract you. I hope that gave you some tips for being able to manifest productivity um, during this time. I hope this doesn't last for too long, but who knows, we might have a few more weeks um, or at least a month or two of this. So it is important to try to do our best and work with what we have. Do let me know what else you do in order to make your environment more work friendly and um, more health friendly as well when it comes to working from home. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.